want to talk about a little bit of uh, the right way of detail of car. Um, sometimes when you take your car to a car wash and they tell you that it's going to get detailed, but all they do is just, just wax your car. They shuffle your interior maybe, but the outside uh, also is important as the inside. It has to be clean in order to stay uh, shiny all the time. Uh, in order to clean the, the, the surface, you have to use a uh, product it's called clay. You get rid of the oxidation and you get rid of the uh, uh, elements that will damage the pickle. So if the paint is not clean, you can see the difference. Did the boys clean up for you before you brought it in? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> So, you can see <coughs> if the paint is not. Yeah, you really feel it. Yes. Clay's getting up close to the camera. Sure. <laughs> it's plastic. It's plastic. <laughs> yes. It's a Prius. Right. It's a Prius. <laughs> okay. So when you take it, some car washes they don't do the the proper um, right way to. <laughs> All right. That, um, you gotta crack it. They just, they, 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 you see the chrome in there. They too. just um, they just wax it. They don't polish it. They don't use compound sometimes in order to get a, a perfect uh, shine. You have to prepare the paint, clay it, uh, then use rubbing compound, then use polish, then use wax, and what um, most of, well, a lot of detailers and a lot of uh, uh, gold say professional, we use sealant, which is uh, the last step of uh, a detail. Not a lot of car wash use that because it's expensive for us, but um, they don't know. They don't know that it, we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to seal the paint after we wax it, after you clay it, after you polish it. We're supposed to seal it in order to stay shiny or to stay protected. If the paint is not protected, if you've got water spots on, the, on it, it'll penetrate real, real quick to the pickle, to the base, and it'll damage the paint. It'll get faded. Okay, start, um, we'll say, coming off the, the paint. Um, you cannot polish without waxing your car. If you polish, if you polish your car, there's different paths to use. Like this is to, to uh, use rubbing compound and to use, uh, to polish it, to, um, wax it and to seal it, there's a different path. If you see a one, one um, detail or using just one pad on your car, it's just putting either just waxing or just putting sealing on it. But it's not detailing, it's not uh, cleaning your, your paint in order to get the perfect shine. So, what it makes me different from everybody else on the market or on the, this business, is that I care about the car that I'm working on, every single car. I use the proper, the proper uh, product on it, and I mean, I always go to trainings. There's something new all the time. Products, um, pads, there's different pads also, different brands. Um, what I like to use is my wires. It's always been there in the market, and I, I trust them. There's always, always, um, something new on, on, on that uh, brand. Um, in order to use one of these pads, you have to know what you're doing, what you're using. If you're not, if you're using like a cheap uh, brand, let's say a rubbing compound or a polish, you you'll burn the paint real quick. Okay, it will damage it. 
and it'll be shiny for two, three days. And after, after those days, it, the shine is gone. Why? Because they're not using the, the uh, fire. When you say burning, are you talking about when you see a car coming out of the car wash that has those big swirls those swirl marks, all the those, way down? There's two different things for those. One, um, the pad was dirty, and mm -hmm. they just reuse it on, on that on the same car for, I mean the same on the same car for the uh, same pad for the, for the past five seven cars. Mm -hmm. They use the same pad. I use one or two times on on, on, uh, on a car. That's it. After that, I throw it away and get a new one. Those four masks also has to be on um, the knowledge of how to use a, a machine, a, a polisher. That's what I do. You mean the pressure? The pressure. <coughs> yeah. The pressure and all that stuff. And the product, too. The product also gives us those four marks. Um, if I want to tell you right now that if you get some earth loop on your car, yes. rinse it right away, right away, or as soon as you see it. If you leave your the earth loop, let's say three days, the paint is gone. You cannot fix that with the polish. Maybe you can fix it with the color sanding. Sometimes you can't. You have to repaint it. But uh, if you see earth loop on, on your car, rinse it right away. Or if you don't have water, just at least get it with the paper towel or something <coughs> because if you leave it for like, like more than three days it'll go through to the paint to, to the table and it's the paint is gone. Um <laughs> have any questions? No? Testimonials? I got testimonial. <clears throat> we had Bob out at our place I guess about a month ago. It was a Christmas present for my wife. The car looked absolutely fantastic. My Jeep is my baby. He got the windows so clean on the car, I realized the windows did it and <laughs> it needs to be replaced. Oh, no. So it was absolutely gorgeous. It looked good until we dropped the white donuts in there yesterday. So, <laughs> <laughs> he came out, you know, there was three people out there. They spent, I think, two hours. That's six man hours to get my car done. And that's how bad a shape it was in. And it looked brand new and beautiful. Brought the car right back to showroom quality. Thank you very much. I got a little testimonial story at the same time. It's been a while since you've been in my house, but I'm going to have to get you back out there. Learn more about the, uh, the top coat today. But if you ever look at Bob's card, what kind of a car do you see on there? It's a Lamborghini. It's a Lamborghini. He hasn't said this, but he actually studied under a guy that was a master. I said this once before years ago. A master at detailing Lamborghinis and Ferraris, high-end machines. He works for some of the players on the Lakers as well down in Newport Coast. He's learned from the best of the best, and he does a world-class job. When you do my car, it looks like, I've said before, it looks like a black pearl rolling down the road. It needs to be done again. Good job. Yes. He's my business partner as well as a friend. And um, with us, we have some special cars, like what we were talking about with the Toyotas. We do a lot of Toyota motor sales vehicles. We repair the vehicles. I will not let that vehicle be um, delivered without Bob touching it. These vehicles are show vehicles. They drive um, from place to place. Um, and they have to look like they were off the showroom floor. So um, sometimes my guys um, won't even give them a day's notice. Sometimes they'll call them and say, Bob, can you come today? Which I try not to, but it happens. And he goes, okay, yeah, I'll be there, you know, within a couple hours. We can't do it that way. He'll be here first thing in the morning. So um, I abuse him a lot, um, but we appreciate what he does for us. And um, I'd like to say thank you. And he also does my personal vehicle as well. So thank you. I don't have anything. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. One of my, my, my goals is to do also high-end cars. I, I have some accounts on that, but like uh, Winston mentioned that uh, my trainer, I met him I think 10, 10 years ago. Um, he used to do chess, chess um, expensive cars, like Lamborghini, Sport, Ferraris, all the uh, classic cars. Um, now he moved, he called me once in a while, he moved to uh, Europe. He's, he's in charge of a uh, big group over there for Lamborghinis. 
He used to live in, in uh, San Juan Capistrano. He had a lot of accounts right there. And um, once in a while, he has people here working for him too. But once in a while, he calls me so I can go over there and help him because he trusts me, he trained me, and he knows that you know, he can uh, uh, rely on me that to do something, something special kind of like that. I didn't know how much he was charging until I, a few months that I find out. <laughs> For one car, um, well, he, when he trained me, he told me how much, how much I should charge. Anything for a color sanding, a black car, from 600 up to 1500. Color sanding, expensive car, <coughs> uh, paint that will cost ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars just for a paint job. Well. I just find out last last week he detailed no last week uh, a few months ago um, he detailed a uh, uh, 1966 Chevelle mm -hmm. he charged 2,500 bucks. Uh, yeah, 2,500 bucks. The car was sold at the auction for seven. $100,000. Yes. That is the kind of, of uh, you know, details that I want to do. You know? <laughs> 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 I just have one quick testimonial. Um, I have a friend who works at a restaurant here in Austin. Um, and your presentation talked about car washes. I've never taken my truck back to a car wash. I always call Bob to wash my vehicle. And uh, he did a great job detailing my husband's Acura that he no longer has, but now he has a silver car, so I'll have to get you out there to detail that. But the thing I like about Bobby is he comes to your house, it's convenient, I can be working and making money while he's working and taking care of my vehicle. And that, to me, time is money. So um, thank you, Bob.